Hey guys, my name is Scott Mueller, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some homemade garlic rolls. Now let me tell you, this right here is one of the best doughs that I've ever worked with. You can take it and make some garlic rosemary bread, or make it a sweet roll by taking out some of the garlic. Whatever you want to do, this is your kitchen. I can't tell you what to do. All right, let's go ahead and look at the ingredients. Right here, we have some flour, some active dry yeast, some egg yolks, some butter, milk, sugar, garlic, salt, garlic powder, and that's all we need. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Over here, we're going to want to activate some of our yeast. So what we're going to need to do is add some of our butter in a pan. I'm gonna go ahead and let that melt, and I'm going to add my granulated garlic. This is going to help us get that really, really nice garlicky flavor that we want and love inside of garlic bread. So that's good for that. Let's go ahead and add this one in there. Perfect. All right. I'm going to give this a very nice stir. It smells really good already. Now let's go ahead and add our milk. And we want to make sure that this reaches a temperature from about 100 degrees to about 115 degrees where we can actually add our active dry yeast. If you could smell this right now, it smells so, so amazing. And we've only just begun. All right, my butter garlic mixture has just reached about 110 to 112 degrees. The reason we did this was so our yeast can activate. We don't want it to be too hot where it'll burn the yeast. And we don't want it to be not warm enough to where the yeast won't activate. So I put the sugar inside of my standing mixer. I'm going to add my butter garlic mixture. And now let's go ahead and add our yeast. And when I add the yeast, we want to make sure that this sits. Don't do anything with it for about 10 minutes just so it can fully activate. So I'm going to go ahead and add this on in. Sprinkle that on top. And now you can just wait and I'll check with you in a little bit. All right, our yeast has been sitting for about 10 minutes and it's fully activated. Now all you have to do is add the remaining ingredients. So we're going to add our egg yolks, our granulated garlic, and our salt. And then last but not least, our flour. Now I do have a standing mixer as you can see, but you are more than welcome to knead this by hand. It's just gonna take a little bit more time and I don't have that kind of patience. All right, so I'm going to add my dough hook and I'm going to start this off at slow speed until everything kind of picks off, picks off the side and becomes a little incorporated. And then I'm going to turn up to about medium and let that go ahead and spin for about 10 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. That looks great. I'm going to remove my dough hook. This is exactly what your dough should look like. And just go ahead and take that off. And you can put a little bit of flour on there just so we have not something super sticky. So we are going to need to let this rise for about an hour and then we're going to let it rise again in a little bit. I'll show you that when we get there. But what I need to do is plop that inside of there, but then put a little bit of oil so we don't get, you know, that weird crust on top of there. All right, I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap. We're going to go ahead and put this in a warm spot where there's no draft, let it rise for an hour, and I'll check with you in a little bit. All right, my dough has been rising for about an hour and a half. It has definitely doubled in size. I just deflated it. And now I put it on some flour just so we don't have all that oil on there still. And now what I'm going to do is press this out to where I can get about six to eight evens, uh, even rolls out of this. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of home cooking. All right, so that's gonna look that's gonna look good for me. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so here I'm gonna show you this one. What I do is I pinch the sides, both sides, and then with whatever I have on the bottom, I'm going to tuck under. And then I have right here a baking dish with a little bit of nonstick spray on there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up. All right, as you saw earlier, we got six really nice sized rolls. Now what I'm going to do is cover this with a damp cloth and let this rise for an additional hour or until they at least double in size. Then we are going to preheat the oven to 375 degrees and put them in the oven for about 25 minutes. All right, my rolls have been sitting for an hour and a half to two hours. I wanted to give them plenty of time to rise 
And my goodness, can you see how much they have risen? Now I'm just gonna put these in the oven at 375 degrees for 25 minutes or until they have a really nice golden crust on top. All right, my bread rolls just came out of the oven. They were in there for exactly 25 minutes. And let me tell you, my whole house smells like garlic right now and I am not complaining. Right here, I have some melted butter. I'm going to put this on top. Oh, now it's, now we're talking. Come look at this. Smells so, so good. I'm telling you, make these for Christmas this year and you will be the talk of the town. I'm also gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, totally optional, but that just melts right on top and Parmesan cheese is unresistible to me, I guess. I add that with everything. All right. Now, I gotta go ahead and try one of these. All right, I can tell they're hot. I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one right out of here. This one has my name on it. All right. Oh, oh, come here. Look how fluffy that is. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more butter right in the center like that. Here we go. buttery, garlicky. This is what's going on my dinner table tonight, that's for sure. And a really fluffy inside. You don't find this everywhere you go. Mm. The recipe is going to be down below. If you do use the recipe, please do let me know. I'd love to see your creation. Anyways, thank you so much for spending time with me today in the kitchen. Until next time, bye-bye. Mm.